a bit of the the, the rap. <laughs> All right. Please stick to your path, find the beauty inside. You've got so much to offer if you'd only see. Lift your head up, put it down, take a breath and look around. It's not really all that bad. We just need some time to reconnect, to decompress, to take it slow and just let it go. Okay, here we are. So how are you? I'm great, thanks, how are you? Uh, very well. Thank you so much for asking. Um, welcome to our episode of PAR Meet the Artist. Um, I'm Pali. I'll be your host. <laughs> and, um, I can get you to introduce yourself, please. Tell us your name, where you're from, and what you do, please. Um, so my name is Robin Bennett, and I'm originally from Pennsylvania in the U.S., but I've been living in Paris for Paris, France, <laughs> not Paris, Texas. <laughs> I've been living in Paris, France for about the last 10 years. So I'm based in France now. And um, yeah, I've been singing for as long as I can remember. And now I have this new single out, Take It Slow. And uh, it's part of a new EP that will come out on May 27th. So yeah. Oh, nice. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, no. We're going to get more out. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to dig into it. You know, let's, um, let's talk about the one that, um, you know, they put your hands up. You know, yes. That's um, got a really positive vibe to it. And, you know, in case you, you know, it's something that you want to go to the gym with. So yeah. what's, the, what's the inspiration behind that? Yeah, the inspiration behind Fight Song was actually... Um, there was a there was a big strike. There was a big um, like you know metro uh, bus like all kind of transportation strike here in Paris, <clears throat> and everybody. I don't know how it is in the UK, but here in France, everybody is always uh, complaining <laughs> a lot. You know, saying like, "Oh, this is too bad." Blah, blah. And I was really like thinking, but if these people are on strike. There's got to be a reason, you know, like they're, they're fighting for something and it can apply to anything in your life, in anybody's life. Mm -hmm. People are going through things that you just never realize. You know, you cross them on the street and maybe they maybe they don't say hi to you or smile, but you don't know what's going on behind. So you, I think we just have to be more in tune with other people and what, what they're going through and try to say like, okay, you're fighting a battle, I can stand by you and I'm gonna be behind you no matter what because we're all in this together. So that's what Fight Song is really about. It's about no matter what your battles are, personal, you know, in your work, anything, we all have them and we all need support at some time or another. So if we could support each other, it'd be better. <laughs> No, that is that is perfect. Um, you know, and, and I like that um, the unity. You know, together we are a lot stronger. You know, there's um, if you take one broom or one stick, you can just snap it. If you exactly. take a whole bunch of twig, it's very difficult. So very true. You know, together we stand. You know, yeah. and as yeah. we stay divided, we fall. So, mm -hmm. no, that's a really great inspiration behind that song. Mm -hmm. I love it. And um, so. What sort of music do you listen to? Um, you know, you, you've been doing music for a while. Who are your inspirational artists? Uh, inspirational artists, they, it's really varied. Um, when I was when I was young, I listened so much to Michael Jackson. I danced. I mean, who doesn't love Michael? But you know, that's like that was like the basics for me. Um, Stevie Wonder. Uh, Paula Abdul, when I was growing up, she was big in the US, like that type of thing. But also uh, Frank Sinatra, Billie Holiday, um, Sarah Vaughn, jazz artists, um, Ray Charles. I got to see Ray Charles play live when I was little and that was amazing. Um, just, I, it was really varied. My parents took me to concerts all the time. So I was exposed to all kinds of music so I thank them for that so um so yeah it's really varied and now I mean I listen to I listen to so much there's so much available on Spotify now or other music streaming it's like ah I don't have time to listen to all this great music but um yeah it's really varied 
No, absolutely. Well, like, like I say, that, that is where the great tunes come from, you know, going from <laughs> Michael Jackson to Stevie Wonder to Frank Sinatra is very diverse. I like that. Um, <laughs> and, you know, you touched about on, um, you know, your parents taking you to concerts. So is this where the inspiration behind where you actually making music that where you, you went to a concert and just for wow, that's it. I am going to be the female mm. version of Michael Jackson. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh I don't I think the the real kind of uh like click came when um I saw the movie Chicago. It came out maybe beginning of the you know in 20 20 2003 or something it was quite a while ago and uh i was always doing a lot of dancing and singing in musicals and uh i saw this movie and on the credits i saw the name of a woman who i danced with when i was small and i said ah oh, if melanie can do that if she can be in a movie singing and dancing i can do it too it's, i'm gonna go for it so that was like the big thing, but it was more like, you know, singing and dancing and musicals. And then it kind of came to be like, well, I can write my own music too. So, yeah. yeah. Wow, that is, that's really cool. That's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And just my random question, right? Yes. That if you could dance to everything you ever hear, that you're going to hear for a whole year, everything you hear, you just have to dance to it. <laughs> Or you have to sing everything you hear. Which would you choose? Do you love mm. dancing? Do you love singing? Which <clears throat> one would you choose? I think that I would have to. I would have to choose dancing because, yeah, my voice might get tired if I had to sing everything that I heard. <laughs> but I don't think my body would ever get tired. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, I think I would have to choose dancing because I think that that's like my my very first first love um and i think that the singing is just part of it but yeah i would just dance <laughs> oh, wow that's that's really that's a great answer because yeah as you said your voice might get tired yeah i'm trying to be practical <laughs> Absolutely, i like it futuristic think ahead <laughs> yeah <laughs> so and so we know obviously of the current state of the music industry being all saturated and you know it's kind of money talks um so what got you to think okay you know why well, i want to be an independent artist um you know even though all of this chaos is going on or maybe i should ask how are you finding it um, it's definitely a challenge you know, but I think that being independent is really, um, it's really important to me because I want to be able to do what I want to be able to do. And I have a lot of <clears throat> friends here in Paris, a lot of singer songwriter friends who have, have signed with labels and they just, they were not free to do what they wanted to do afterwards. And I feel like it's just a price to pay that um, at, I'm lucky at this point, you know, that I can make my living doing this. We can normally we tour a lot. And so we can, you know, we have enough concerts that can provide for all making these records and everything. So I think that that's really important to me is to be able to stay independent. Maybe, you know, it's everybody's choice, of course. But for me, it's I really feel like it's something that I need. So. That, that is, that's great mm -hmm. like that yeah. <laughs> and, um, wish you, you know every success with it we are right behind you thank so, you <laughs> thank you yes luckily there are radios like power ace that support independent artists so <laughs> absolutely we're right here yeah <laughs> <laughs> because you know we, we believe in that thing that again it's all about the music industry and how they want to coach you into oh this is how long the song should be this is how it should kind of be arranged these are the things you should or you shouldn't say yeah but yeah being on making music is like you know i'm sure with most artists it's an escape somewhere where you can release what you're really feeling and exactly. um, the sort of music we listen to on power is radio get those like you know there's lyrics behind it there's a good beat behind it you know um not just the 
yeah, we love the instrumentals. Don't get me wrong. We love jazz, you know. Yeah. But, you know, we love more those ones that do give you a message, you know, that, that has, you know, like fight song, you know, go out and, you know, stop complaining. Just fight for what you want. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, let me, um, before we, we, we go too far. Or, yes. You know, so we don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we go and find everything, you know, when you're releasing new stuff, when you're doing new things? Where can we go and find all this? Um, Probably the first place to go would be our website. So it's robinbennett.com. It's easy. Robin with a Y, R-O-B-Y-N-B-E-N-N-E-T-T.com, robinbennett.com. And then also, of course, Facebook and Instagram robin bennett music those will be those places and yeah and if you go to our website you can subscribe to our newsletter and then you'll get all the information first so that's perfect that's yeah. it so go to the <laughs> website robinbennett.com yes subscribe to the newsletter that's it and as we see around here they say bob is your uncle so i don't yeah. know if they use that in france do they use that i think so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, Bob is an international man, hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let me ask another, you know, random question that yeah. you've, you've mentioned all these great artists. So if, if you could, and you say you go on tour, so dead or alive, if you could, <laughs> anywhere in the world, go and do a kick show with any artists, whether they're dead or alive, who would it be? <laughs> um, can they be like together or does it have to be one artist? It could be a band. It could be a band. Well, I would say, no, yeah, the only, I would have to say that I would have to see um, Freddie Mercury and Queen just because I think he's amazing and I, yeah, so I wish that I could have seen him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say that there's so many there's so many people that I would like to see but that I would definitely feel like would be an amazing show so oh nice it's a shame we can't make that come true but you know that's okay it's okay <laughs> <laughs> well so um you know I think I just take from that that you you've mentioned you know Fred Mercury um of course obviously of that uniqueness that he has or the cont and the contribution it made to music mm -hmm. um what makes you different to all the other artists what do you think that's your you know as they call it the unique selling points um i f i don't know that's hard that's a hard one i kind of feel like my what people say to me after concerts, at least and everything, is that my superpower is kind of spreading good vibes. Like people come out and they feel good. And that's like, that's, I, maybe there are other artists who do that too, but I feel like that's like my, my strongest point is that that's what I want to convey through music is that we can, there's so much positivity you know, that we can spread through music. And if I can touch just one, two, three people with that, that's just amazing to me. And so I feel like our music, first and foremost, that it's like positive vibes all the way. That's, that's, perfect. <laughs> that's a great answer, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, and it, that's what it's all about, you know, entertainment is for the masses, you know. Exactly. Because yeah, you have to enjoy what you do, but when you deliver it, you have to make sure you give your all. You know, your all. You're there, give your all, and, you know, people will receive it the same way. So, yeah, no, I, I support that. Positive. Cool. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is great. And, you know, okay, let me go into my kind of next question. Yes. Um. So, how many, actually, how many, um, so you've released albums or have you just only yes. been doing tracks and EPs? Yes. Um, we have released three albums. Um, the first one was in 2013. So it's almost 10 years that we've been 
making records. Um, so we have three albums and then we have an EP because we kind of changed because we're like, people aren't listening to albums, they're too long. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, you know, it's not true for everybody, but so we said, so this time we're gonna do three EPs. So we have the first EP, Move, where the fight song is. And then we have our second EP, Feel, uh, which will come out on May 27th. And then the last one in the third series called Love will come out in 2023. So it'll be Move, Feel, Love. So. Oh, wow, guys. <laughs> That's true. Wow. Well, can't wait already to come and talk about the next one. <laughs> so while we're on this one, so... Yeah. Three albums, that's, and EPs, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of work. And it it's is. probably a, a very unfair question, this next one. But, you know, just never know. What is, which of them is, would you say, of all these tracks, which one yeah. is your, your personal favourite? Mm, personal favourite. Mm. Just one track. Just the one track. That's your personal favorite. Mm. Oh, you know what? You can have to. Why not? You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's hard. Mm. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So the first one that I'm gonna say is a song called "Okay, All Right," um, which is off of our very first album. Because that song, when we perform live, is this the moment in the concert when it just like that's it. It goes crazy. People like that's the song that brings everyone together. Okay, all right, you know, like it's all good, and it has a really strong New Orleans vibe. So it's really like a second line beat, and everybody it just feels really like everybody's together. So I think I have to choose that song first. But you said I could have a second one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just because it's new. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I would have to say the second song, the most favorite would have to be. No, I don't know. I I don't know if I could choose. I do feel like I have to say it's maybe take it slow the song we just released because it was such a big challenge for me because I didn't think that I could rap or it was maybe it's like more like poetry or slam or something but it was something that because I, I really love I love rap too I love Eminem I love uh, Macklemore I love Jay-Z I really do like rap a lot too and it's something I sometimes you know the, the lyrics are incredible and I'm like oh I could never do that I'm a singer but you know then I said maybe I could try and my husband Ben who we write music together he said do it go for it and I said okay Ah, and I did it. And so I'm really proud of myself because, and everybody seems like it's a positive response and they say, yeah, it's cool. This, you have a good flow. And I said, oh, okay. So I'm really proud. So I have to say that's my second favorite song because it was a huge, like, oh my gosh, I can do this, you know, so. <laughs> wow. Those are really two great answers. Um, <laughs> I personally definitely be sure to go and check out it. The first one, your first album sounds yes. like it has a lot of gems in there, you know, like yeah, 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 perfect tracks, you know. Yes, um, and you know, while you're talking about this new song, do you do you mind giving us a little snippet of it? Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of the 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 rap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please stick to your path, find the beauty inside. You've got so much to offer if you'd only see. Lift your head up, put it down, take a breath and look around. It's not really all that bad. We just need some time to reconnect, to decompress, to take it slow and just let it go. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and this is on the new EP, right? Yes, yeah. Go take it slow. Yes. Mm. Like that, like that a lot. <laughs> and um, so when does that come out? Uh, so take it slow. No, take it slow is the so the first song that came out March fourth. That okay. track, and mm -hmm. the EP will come out on May twenty seventh. Ah, okay, May twenty seventh. Well, <laughs> let's book that in the diary right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really great. Um, mm -hmm. so um, you said about touring, um. So where where is the next place you're going? Where's your next tour? Um, 
the next tour will be in yeah no it's so hard it's so hard now we did we have been we have played in the uk before um we we had the pleasure of playing at ronnie scott's jazz club which was amazing um but it's super hard now with brexit <laughs> mm, yep I yeah. said the B word. <laughs> uh, I said the B word. So yeah, so for now, no, but hopefully in the future. But um, the next tour we have coming up in May will be in Germany and Switzerland. So mm -hmm. yeah, so that should be fun. So yeah, we're gonna, I love touring in Germany. I, 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 I we love going to the UK too, but Germany is uh, awesome too, because they're, they love music in general. So <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> hopefully we get to see you in the UK soon. Hopefully. Probably we might just go to Germany. Just Why not? Catch you. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So let's um digress and say when you're not doing news, mm -hmm. what do you do? What do you do in your spare time? What are your hobbies? Um, I dance because I love <laughs> dancing. So yeah, you can find me dancing a lot. Um, or just doing other sports, like yoga and Pilates. I, I love to work out. I'm, I love to move my body. Move, that's the name of the first DP. So yeah, um, in my, I love to cook too. I love to cook and to bake. So, and I have met a lot of other singers and artists who like cooking too. And I feel like it's kind of related. There's a thing with music and food. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, absolutely. Because, um, I won't mention who it is, but this this artist and what they do is they actually so they go through the preparation of so let's say German, so they go through the preparation of German food and then they release the tracks to that. <laughs> right. Interesting. So interesting. it's interesting that you said that. Yeah. Um, I might say you some actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's about you know collaborating and connecting with other artists. And I suppose that will bring me to my next question that I know you have your band already, mm -hmm. so would you rather just do your own thing or are you an artist that don't mind actually um, working with other people? No, yeah, I th I'm totally open to uh, collaborations. Um, last year I did a collaboration with, um, he's a French, uh, well, he's actually Polish, but he lives in France, a uh, harmonica player, Greg Zlap. Um, I played a, I sang on his album, a song with him. So that was really cool. And uh, we're working now on a collab with uh, an artist from Brazil, which who we got in touch with through Groover also, which was cool. So okay. yeah, so I'm totally open to, yeah, I think it's super interesting and also to try out different musics, especially like with uh, the artist in Brazil, it's a totally different culture, different music. And I think it's cool to kind of, you know, blend those things together. No, no, absolutely. No, that, that, that makes so much sense. Um, because if, if you, yeah, you, you can always obviously do your own thing and, you know, we're enjoying what you do. <laughs> um, collaboration sometimes will give you that extra, those, those things that you never thought about. Exactly. Or, yeah. You know, the lies that you never thought, oh, I'll, I'll go through this or I'll do that. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited to go and listen to this rap version um <laughs> as we're kind of um wrapping up what would you like to say to your viewers mm, i would like to say in uh, for this in terms of this song take it slow uh in staying in key with that uh don't don't be too much on social media and even though it's great for connections, screens are good, but nothing beats being with real people. And now that we can, uh, take advantage of that. Be with people who you love, who you make, who make you feel good, and take time for yourself too, and just enjoy life that way because it's so important and it can be gone like that. So just take advantage of every moment. <laughs> Like that, no, that, that's really positive, you know. Nobody knows tomorrow, so make today count. That's yeah. some real thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> and um, as we're closing off, it, it just won't be complete if I don't ask this particular question. <laughs> I love food. You just said you love cooking. Yes. So, 
if you could be any dish, <laughs> and this dish is going to represent you, you know, have all these different spices in it. Mm -hmm. What dish would you be? What spices can we expect? <laughs> uh, that's a hard one. I kind of want to say... I don't know. I kind of want to say chocolate cake because chocolate cake makes everyone happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe it's not true. Maybe everyone doesn't like chocolate cake, but I feel like everyone's like, ooh, lava cake, like chocolate lava cake. Ooh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, so you're going to the topic straight. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? Mm. Well, probably stay in the obvious world. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. Just because I feel like uh, I don't, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have an answer. <laughs> just because. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I think Gillis and the life is chocolate cake. So it's chocolate. As you said, you know, it makes people feel good. You know. It, that's what sugar does anyway sugar and... does it anyway so yeah <laughs> <laughs> well you know specifically chocolate cake that that is very interesting um I, I, i'll leave that with you maybe um you can yeah you can give us the answer on the next episode right okay 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 <laughs> 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 um well yeah it's been so great um having you on the show yeah um, thanks for having me check out, um robinbennett.com yes and on social media it's robin bennett music exactly yeah and subscribe to the newsletter yes robinbennett.com yes got it <laughs> so thank you so much for coming thank you until we meet again yes have a good evening <laughs> Two, Bye. Bye. More music variety on Power Ace Radio. Power Ace Radio.